At Top Star News tonight at 6, Rick Worshi has never known freedom as an adult, but it is now within his reach. Michigan's longest serving nonviolent juvenile offender could exit Michigan's prison system by this time next month. And today's family let out emotions they've been holding on to for nearly three decades. This morning's vote by the parole board was unanimous in favor of granting Worshi his release. That could happen as soon as mid-August, but that doesn't mean he's going to be going home as there's still the matter of a five-year sentence in Florida. We're joined again by local Florida defender Kevin Dietz, who spoke with Worshi by phone today, a conversation that was uh, years really in the making, Kevin. Yeah, and uh, Rick Worshi, when he first heard the news today, he actually cried. When I talked to him, he was happy. He was uh, relieved and grateful. Then I surprised him. And at that moment, you could really tell how big a deal this really was. <laughs> Rick Worshi was sharing his joy and commitment to prove that the parole board did the right thing by voting to free him from his life sentence. You know, I, I need to live my life and make a good living, of course, and be there and help my family. But whatever I can do to continue to help others, that's what I'm going to do with my life. When I suddenly surprised Worshi by bringing his favorite relative into the room, his niece, Gabby. Rick, I have a surprise for you. Hi. <laughs> it's Gabby. Hey, Gab. Hi. What's up, huh? I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't even know what what to say. We find we finally we finally made it. Yeah, I love you, Gab. I love you too. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. <laughs> both brought to tears by the reality of today's decision. Worshi will get out of prison. He will be reunited with his family. It's over, hon, that's all. I know, I know. Oh, I oh my goodness. I appreciate you, I love you. I'll be there to see your daughter grow up. I know, I know. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. An unexpected glimpse into the enormity of hearing the words, it's over, you've been paroled. It may not be immediately, but Rick Worshi is coming home. I love you, and I, I couldn't be more happy and excited to finally have you home with us. I love you too, Gab, and I can't wait to see you, and I can't wait to hold the baby and give her a big kiss. Yeah, we love you, okay? Yep, tell everybody I said hi, and I love them. Tell Nana I said I love her, and tell everyone that, you know, I'm, I'm coming home. Yeah, we can't wait. Where she says his freedom will be all about family, getting to know his kids and grandkids again, reconnect with his mom. His father and grandparents died and he hasn't said goodbye yet to them. He wants to work and fish and eat a good meal for the first time in a long time. He's going to have to wait a while longer for all that, but the life sentence has been served. And when you say wait a while longer, there's a chance he might have to go down to Florida for this case, this, this car theft thing and serve time down there. How likely is that to happen? Yeah. Yeah, he owes the time to Florida, and really all he can do is ask and throw himself at the mercy of the court, and it will be entirely up to Florida if he serves that time or not. But his attorney's going to get right after it. They'll probably file a motion next week and try and get an answer right away. Yeah. If that's the case, they'd go, come down, come up here and get him and take him down there. Florida exactly. Yeah. They sure would. So, okay. Now, uh, tonight we're also hearing from retired FBI agent Greg Schwartz, who worked with Worshi while Worshi was in prison in an effort to bust dirty officers and drug dealers. And his statement reads, finally, after 29 years, a juvenile who was incarcerated and deserved a sentence of between five and ten years is finally free. The case of Richard Worshi Jr. should now remain as the gold standard for city, state, and even federal government corruption. Well, Rick Worshi's loved ones have had a very long time to think about how they'd spend time with Rick if they ever again got the chance. Uh, they are making some big plans. Let's get to Karen Drew live in the newsroom with that part of the story. Karen. Yes, I was spending the morning with the family as the news came out that his parole was granted and soon afterwards everyone had an idea of what they wanted to do with him, whether it was going out to dinner, playing ball or going to Cedar Point. It's <laughs> I'm yeah, overjoyed, I'm overjoyed. From the ones who grew up with Rick, like his older sister Dawn. I, I can't wait so I can give him a hug. 
the parole Richard <laughs> to the little ones in the family who don't even know their uncle. I finally get to meet him. He loved to play baseball and everything, and I love baseball, so excited to go to the batting cages or something with him. Good to see your son, Mom. Everyone is imagining what life could be like once Worshi is released. Looking forward to doing with him or being with him. Just visiting and spending time together because it's been so long. And then having him find himself a job that he wants and just having a normal life. I can't wait. The family knows there is one more hurdle, Florida, and a possible sentence to serve, but they remain hopeful. Thank you very much, Your Honor. He won't have to serve that sentence. So people are realizing, you know, maybe they made a mistake. And this family says it's going to be a new life, obviously, for Rick Worshi, but for all of them. They've lived a lifetime of waiting every single day because he would make that phone call, and they wanted to be home at the time he called, and they didn't want to go far, and now they're kind of excited about perhaps actually leaving their little realm and actually living life a little beyond their bubble and living it with him. Back to you. All right, Karen, we appreciate it. Our coverage continues on clickondetroit.com. That's where you can find a transcript from Kevin Dietz's entire interview with Rick Worshi. Plus, you can find Kevin's story from when Matthew McConaughey spent five hours in prison talking with him. You can find the link right there on our homepage. Just go to our website. It's clickondetroit.com.